so I am Becky. I am the designer and the creative entrepreneur behind the brand Shade Becky. Um, and this is one of my designs. And um, hello Jane, hello, oh it's lovely to see you. Um, thank you. Uh, yes, so I'm just introducing myself and um, so I'm Becky and I'm the designer and creative entrepreneur behind the brand Shade Becky and and I just love Christmas as you can possibly tell if you've ever visited my shop I um, love Christmas and I do my Christmas aprons and if you've been following me on Instagram and Facebook um, yes so it's really really lovely for me to share the fun with other people who love Christmas too. So um, hopefully you have things you need you can make along with me. If you've got any questions please um, just type them into the comments and I'm really happy to answer any questions. Um, so yes, so we're going to make um, an advent calendar if you want to. Um, and let me just, I'm just getting, getting my notes up. Um, okay, so this behind me is what mine has turned out to look like. So um, I'm going to show you up close. So I've got some of those twisty willow twigs and then I've hung all my little envelopes off. Um, and I've got these fairy lights. They've got this really thin wire, so it, they sort of it's a, quite invisible when the, it, when they're on the twigs. It, the wire doesn't really really stand out too much. So um, I left. So I just I just wrapped. I was just wrapping the wire so I just left a bit so that I could show you so really just wrapping the wire around the twigs and then the little lights just um, show up really and make it look really pretty um, and so what would I think would would be really nice is if um, this sits on a window and then at night if you put the lights on and you've got the black of the dark outside night and then the then the little lights will reflect and make it even more sparkly so um, I'm just going to leave that like that because you can see what I mean what I've done but you don't have to um, you don't have to um, do it like that you don't have to do it on the twigs because I have thought that you possibly can't put too much heavy stuff in the little envelopes if you're doing it on the twigs like I've done so um, another idea I had was you could make all the little envelopes and then you get you know you can buy these little pegs can't you so this is a spare envelope and oh right, so then then I was thinking you can seal the envelope over the string and then you could have all your envelopes hanging along like this. So maybe actually because the pegs wouldn't hold a lot of weight either. So um that's another way of hanging, and then it could be like a garland, um, and you could either use you know nice silver string like this or I also really like um, this kind of linen-y sort of string that really natural sort of textury twiny stuff with some natural pegs um, is another way of hanging it or you can just take the individual envelopes um, and just you know just hang them hang them themselves like that from wherever you fancy so let me know if any of those ideas take your fancy um, and yeah so now I was thinking 
it's interesting isn't it we need to think about who you're going to make your advent calendar for because um i've got some really nice affirmation cards and i can't think where i've put them um but i also thought it would be really nice to make one for yourself and oh look they're just i'm just going to grab them they're just over here and this is what I send out. These are what I send out. These Louise Hay um, Love Yourself cards. And I send those out, two of these out with all of my orders. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to make an advent calendar for yourself? And you could put in a different affirmation card every day. And then then maybe, you know, a little chocolate or something. But um, yeah, so um, let me know who your calendar's for, who are you making it for, and what treats are you going to put inside? Because, um, yes, so, okay. So I'm going to show you how to make the little envelopes. So um, I've given you a sheet of numbers that you can print out and I've given you an envelope template if you want to use an, a, um, some, you know, some other um, paper. And then you've got my two, my two patterns here. So this is my Christmas pudding design here. And then this is my Robins. So these are my two Christmas designs. Well, actually, so I paint all the designs myself, so I can actually show you the original artwork. So this is, so I'm in my studio here. This is my original artwork that I created the designs from. So there we are, this one. All the little rows of Christmas puddings and hearts. And then there are my, these are my robins. So these are my own, all my own patterns, which is, you know, what I love doing, love designing. So what do you need to do? Let's make the, um, so if we make up one of, one of the ready-made kind of one of my patterned envelopes first. So um, I'm going to see if I can move my camera so you can see my cutting board. So that's not too bad is it so if you i always cut out the little kind of little notchy bits first but um so here so just cut it just cutting out just or, or just making the just not cutting it completely but just cutting through those lines so then we can just go straight round with our ruler and it's really really easy Cut out then. So so I hope you can see what I'm doing. You can use scissors to cut 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 this out. I just um I just quite like and then we can take a ruler and if you have a metal ruler it's just easier with a craft knife because you won't, with a plastic ruler, you'll gradually cut bits out of the ruler, which can be just a bit irritating. So then you can just go round on this nice straight edges with your ruler and craft knife. There we go. So then hopefully you have something like this. And then you'll notice on these there's a, a really faint line where you need to crease. So if you have a rubbish bin that's quite handy. So if you take your ruler and line it up with one of the crease lines 
and if you've got a pair of scissors you can use your craft knife but it's quite easy to cut through the, uh, rather than just make a score so you want to score so you get a nice crisp fold so if you use your scissors and line up with all the creases then when you fold your envelope it will crease really nicely and you should get really nice edges so and sometimes you can feel but yeah so then if you fold your envelope like that Jane how am I doing am I going too fast tell me if you want me to slow down and then we have a lovely envelope shape. And then on the back here, we've got our little hole for our hole, for our hole punch. Um, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the envelope together. Um, you can use glue, but I'm quite a messy person. So um, I find double-sided tape is really good and this is quite a thin, thin double-sided tape. So I'm just going to guess roughly how much I need and stick it to the edge here. And then do the same on the other side. Stick it to this part and then if you peel off the little sticky bits and then so then hold the, the sides down and then if you fold the bottom up it will all be in the right place you don't have to guess it will naturally fall where it's supposed to fall and there we go you have your envelope just like that and then we can cut a hole so if you get a if you take a hole punch if you've got a hole punch if you haven't got a hole punch you can literally just cut out the little circle with your craft knife or if you've got a hole punch you can cut it with your hole punch if you have your hole punch upside down you can sort of roughly see where it is i don't know if you can see that through you should be able to see but make sure you're you're not cutting like this well not that it really matters so you obviously don't want to use that side make sure you've got the the extra hole way away from your envelope so you can line up the the drawn hole on your envelope with the hole punch and then there we are we have our envelope and then all of my, um, on, on my um, advent calendar, I've cut my ribbons to 20 centimetres and threaded them through like that. And then they're ready to tie. We just need to put a number on the front. So... I have got some numbers here, some of my numbers, so I'm going to cut out, just cut round the grey circle and there we go I've got my number and then we can see how it will sit on the envelope I want mine to sit like that because I'm being super conventional I mean you can put it up there if you like it doesn't it doesn't matter but I, I just have mine there it seemed nice to me so I'm going to just again you can use glue but I'm going to use double-sided because I get glue everywhere 
and just stick a little bit of double sided at the tip of the there on the tip of the, the folded down part and take that off and then again you see I'd um, I close the envelope and then place the number on top like that so it's closed so I know exactly where it's going to sit and by putting the tape on the actual envelope rather than a number I know that I'm not going to have any coming out or oh, you can't see sorry coming out on that side so it doesn't really matter does it I mean um, it doesn't really matter so that is envelope number one Jane are you making I have you have you made an envelope I'd love to know <laughs> so that's 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 what we're doing today really so um, obviously it's exactly the same if you want to cut out this one and you can do them all the same you can do a mixture what I thought was quite nice was the craft so um, I yeah really like brown paper so you will be able to print out an envelope cutter guide here so cut that out in the same way that we cut the, the one the one with the pattern out so I'm going to cut here and cut here cut here I need to have a drink. I hope you've all got to have a drink. <sighs> oh, super, Jane. Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. Um, yeah, so have a drink. Make sure you drink. I didn't drink enough yesterday and I've got a bit of a headache. So, so today I'm making sure I drink enough. And I also wanted to say the reason I'm not playing any Christmas music is one, so you can hear what I'm saying, but also... Um, because of the copyright, um, I can't play any of the, you know, the lovely Christmas songs because uh, Facebook would take take the videos down. So um, you'll need you need to provide your own Christmas songs, I'm afraid, um, which is a real shame. But um, the radio, I noticed, I've been listening to Heart. And they have been full of Christmas music and it has just cheered me up no end. So um, there we are. So how am I doing? So yes, yeah, so I've cut all the little into the, all the little notches. So now I'm just going to cut the edges out. Do, 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 do. we go so now I have my envelope template cut out like this and then you can take any colored paper you like because actually a red would be lovely wouldn't it and you can get some lovely wrapping paper and things like that so you can use any paper that you like or you can make your own on Monday I'm going to show you we're going to do a bit of potato printing and you know that would be really really fun um, a craft envelope like this with um, lots of lots of little white dots on would look really sweet wouldn't it really Christmassy so if you've got your template like this then you can just get some sellotape and stick your template to your paper like this so 
so my advent calendar is for my other half and yes he likes chocolate although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for me actually <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I like chocolate and he gets to eat some of it so this is allegedly for, for my other half but you know I think I might have to help him so, um, <laughs> oh, I just so love Christmas. I think what I like, I just love Christmas because it's all, it's magical and you can, I feel it's a real, you can really let your hair down and really, you know, get back to your child again and just have a bit of fun. I think, yes, sometimes, yeah, it's just a good time of year have fun oh right sorry okay so and um, again then so I've taped down my template onto my piece of paper and I'm going to again cut into those notches with my craft knife and Excuse me, I'm going to have to blow my nose. So, um, then, yes, yeah, so I've cut into all the little slots, so then we can just, we can just cut along here. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so another tip is if you always put the ruler on the piece that you want to keep nice so instead of don't, instead of cutting this way um, um, because then maybe it's easy for your knife to slip if you put the knife over the template and the piece of the paper that you want to keep nice then if you if you don't you know if your if your knife goes like that it doesn't matter you haven't cut into your envelope so that's a just a little tip for you there. Always put your ruler over the sort of the object that you're cutting mm -hmm. out. So any mistakes go into the into the edges anyway. Not that it really matters if you have a slightly wonky envelope, does it really? So how am I doing? Oh look, yes, I didn't quite cut that bit down enough. And there we are so we can get rid of that bit that we don't want and then this bit will just come apart come away and then we have our colored paper envelope and so we haven't got the the score marks on here but we can see you can see from the goes into right into the corners of the envelope so again if you get your scissors and line your ruler up into those corners and score there we go and then you should be able to fold if you think that your folds aren't um, sort of neat enough you can always put your ruler back against the line that you've just scored and then so if you've got thicker card this is quite a good thing to do and then you can gently push the paper up and fold into the ruler and you'll again get a really really nice edge so that's a really good thing to do if you've got a slightly thicker piece of paper and it will get you those nice crisp edges just make it look, just make it look nice, don't they? How are you getting on, Jane? So there we go. So then, it doesn't matter. Um, there, it's um, it's symmetrical, top sort of top to bottom. So it doesn't matter um, which 
you call the top and which you call the bottom. Um, there's, there's no sort of right way up in that respect. So um, just crease those in. So again, I'm going to get my double-sided tape. And <laughs> it's trickier to see. There we are. If I fold it like that and I can see nicely on the on the green oh, I just need to make sure I do it on the right edge um, not that it's a disaster so which edge am I doing I'm doing the bottom this edge here there we go so then we can just peel off oops just stick it down my nails have gone really short because I've been doing lots of making and um, yes my nails just just go and then I've got no fingernails left so again if you press down the sides of the envelope to how they you want them to lie and then with your thumbs you can just fold the bottom part part up and it will just automatically be in the right place so then you have a lovely envelope so this time we haven't got a, a little marker for where to put the hole but it doesn't matter again just make sure you if you're using a hole punch you keep the the second hole well away from the envelope and just somewhere in that in that top corner there oops it's a bit close to the edge um, which will it'll be fine as long as I don't put anything really heavy in it no heavy chocolate <laughs> So there we are. So there's a next envelope. So I'm just going to cut out another number. and then just put that hold down my envelope closed and again I'm just going to put a little bit of double sided but you can use glue something like Pritt stick probably be quite good um, and just stick it the top there where you can see it nicely this time because it's on the nice dark and peel it off and then again if you play shut close the envelope how you how it's going to be closed and then when you see just place the number on top and then and then it'll be like that and then so we can think about not I haven't been thinking about what we're going to put inside so oh <laughs> I found these little um, snowballs, which I thought were really, really cute. So, little snowballs. Um, I <laughs> See what I mean? That's why I don't use glue, because everything runs everywhere. <laughs> Can't see. Right, okay, so I've got my little snowballs there. Then here I've got um, these little... Um, I've got little robins on these are quite cute um, but you know you can get so many oh and then I've got I found these reindeer because you just need to bear in size uh, in the size it, in you know that the, your envelopes will fit only a certain amount but the the Maltese reindeer does fit in the envelope so um, it might be an idea to put your ribbon through the hole first and just so I don't lose it I'm just going to tie a little little knot in mine so then we've put my reindeer in my my little envelope and then again I'm going to cut another bit of um, double-sided 
and then I'm going to this time stick it to the, the, the underside of the number like that and then again with you can I can just close it like that you can so there we are that is envelope number one with something in it because all the ones on the twigs don't have anything in it yeah so I did think did I say I can't remember if I've said this that um, I'm not sure how much weight the twigs will take so you might be something to bear in mind if you're doing curly twigs um, now um, so you can put obviously an assortment of whatever you like in your envelopes um, but I was thinking it might be quite nice to add a bit of something out especially to these ones because these ones are quite plain so I've got these lovely lovely tassels so um, I mean you can use whatever you've got in the in you know all those those bits of things that I don't know if you're like me I just keep things and I have bags of bags of ribbons and things um, you know so so actually you know that's really except it hides the number but that's fine it's all part of the fun uh, but that's rather nice isn't it so um, you can have a tassel on your on your little envelope or um, I mean we could have What I quite like doing is using thin ribbons and then but using several of them to have a bit of impact. So you could have like a red ribbon like this and with a gold ribbon. I think three. Three always seems to be quite a good number. So I don't know, do we use maybe a different colour red? Because obviously all sorts of red. So we could have We could have ribbons like this. And I wonder we could use these you could use these, couldn't you, to be nice to do kind of like a maybe we could just do a big bow or, or a bow. It won't be a big bow obviously with the um so make a bow. That will be really nice and Christmassy, and then pull the three lots of that's quite nice, isn't it? Ribbons together. Oh, my advent. Oh, going to be your fiance. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a, such a lovely idea, Jane. I absolutely love that. That is so lovely. And you can just make it so personal, can't you? So that's wonderful. And because you can make some, maybe you can make some nice little, and I love, I love the idea of a card with a sentiment in for each day. I mean, that's that's just super. I'm so sorry to hear that your wedding had to be cancelled. It's um, it's a bit tough, isn't it, at the moment? I have to say, with all these um, all these the restrictions and things that we can and we can't do. So. Um, So, I've got my scissors here. Now, I have, oops, I have um, a special a pair of scissors. I have scissors for paper and scissors for fabric because um, paper blunts scissors. So, I keep, I have a specific scissors for fabric. So, I'm just going to go and get my my fabric scissors <sighs> so here we are um, and that little bit of gold ribbon seems to have gone a bit haywire there we go So 
with that is quite nice and then we can I don't know, cut all the ends so they're the same length it's quite nice if you cut them at a little angle like that there we go so you could stick it stick it there <laughs> the nicest possible way pull it if you pull the find the bit so you can pull a nice tight bow so it doesn't come come unstuck so there we are that would could be another way of adorning oh sorry you can't see adorning each of your eight um your envelope so you could stick that there i'm going to just use a bit of sticky tape but if i was doing it um to keep i would um I would use glue because I don't think the sticky tape is um, double sided tape is strong enough to actually hold because there's quite a bit of quite a bit of ribbon there so but just to show you how it looks it's quite sweet isn't it or you could um, you could stick it above the number I don't know maybe your fiance doesn't want bows Jane but um so maybe another way of um you could just you know just sticking a ribbon across the top would be quite nice if you want to keep it more simple and then you could do um you could do the same thing um i don't know i've got some different gold ribbon so you could have some lines of ribbons here oh look i've got just have to use what we've got really at the moment don't we although i suppose you know we could oh look we could have that would be that's quite nice we got a ribbon with like merry christmas or something so you can either you could glue that in place or you could use double-sided gosh i do love double-sided doing for time how are you doing for time Jane so if you put the double sided all along the back well obviously not you can roughly measure it and then yes then I'm using my paper scissors for this because it will blunt my lovely lovely sewing scissors So then you can stick that across the bottom there. Oh, I do quite like that. Say. And then trim it off. So if you stick it down that that way, then you can just turn it over and all this and trim off the excess. Just be careful not to um, cut the envelope. There we are. You can have a little, little Merry Christmas envelope like that. I think that's quite nice. Um, yeah, so it's really up to you to decorate them how you like, or you can use this. Yeah, you know, like I say, I do like this, this natural sort of string, and that's quite good for um, if you want to go for a more natural look something like that um, so let me see have I forgotten to tell you something let me check my notes yeah I mean I think that's it then it's just a matter of deciding where you're going to hang all your little envelopes are you going to use twigs um, like I did um, are you going to hang them all together on a on a string because what you if you wanted to make a the garland if you then you can then thread the you can have them all hanging like hanging like this and then then you can put really heavy chocolate in them. 
and you can have them all let me yeah you can have the whole a whole row of them like a garland There we are, like that. So that that that's it. So, oh, bye, Jane. Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, so there we go. Um, I hope that has shown you how you can make your own advent calendar. Um, I would love to know how you get on. Um, please share in the group who you're making your advent calendar for and what treats you're going to put in it and then there will be a bonus because I'm doing a prize so the prize today is a box of chocolates so share who you're going to make your advent calendar for and sh share what you're going to put in it um, and then um, I'll do a, a prize uh, draw and you'll get a box of chocolates for your advent calendar um, and if you put a picture a picture of one of your envelopes or eat more even if it's just one just put set, I'd love to see a picture of one of your envelopes so post a photograph if you can for bonus points um, I'd love to just love to know how you're getting on and if you've got any questions or something doesn't make sense um, please ask in the group and, and I'll do my best to answer so tomorrow um, I am going to be showing you how to make a lovely place setting, how you can decorate your table, whether there's just going to be two of you or there's going to be more of you um, and give you some decorating ideas with foliage and um, so if you want to kind of do that with me as well find all your Christmas aprons and details and napkins and I don't need aprons, don't know why I said that, it's just because I'm wearing one. Um, white tablecloth is really good. Um, if you look in the workbook, um, I've put in everything you need. Let me just check because I think I um, might have ha had some more ideas since I wrote the workbook. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make an holly and ivy centerpiece. So, um, yes, so I'm going to be using Oasis and some holly and some ivy to make a centerpiece. Um, and yeah, so I'll be using secretaires. If you want to make a lot or you know do it with me and try things out as well then that's great that'd be lovely and um i hope you have a lovely day yeah if you're catching up later just um hashtag replay so i know mm -hmm. and um yeah leave me some messages let me know how you're getting on and i'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>